Hi guys, divers, <laughs> Alec Pierce. This uh, little tech tip is uh, the result of a uh, lady emailing me and she starts like this. She's, Alec, you're always telling us to, to uh, do our best to take our gear to the local dive store and if there's anything technically involved because they know what they're doing and they'll take care of it. Yeah, that's true, I do. And she says, I took my buoyancy compensator in for its annual service and when I got it home, I blew it up, <clears throat> uh, as you've mentioned, to store it. And, uh, and I went down to see it two days later, and it was soft. It, it wasn't empty, but it had gone soft. It's, it's got a leak in it. Why didn't they find that leak and fix that leak when it was in for service? Good question. It's a good question. Absolutely. You would think that if there was a leak in the BC that they would find that leak and they would fix it. But... Not necessarily the case. Let me explain. Buoyancy compensators are more a piece of clothing than they are a mechanical device, okay? The only thing mechanical on a buoyancy compensator is this thing right here that I'm hiding by my hand. And by mechanical, I mean, generally speaking, mechanical devices are made of metal and have various moving parts. The rest of the BC is like a pair of jeans. It's just ballistic nylon, stitching, and 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 uh, clips and webbing and so on. It's more like a piece of clothing. My point is this: that a buoyancy compensator, by its very nature, is not a completely perfectly sealed device. Okay, and that means that in most cases, if you have a buoyancy compensator and you blow it up hard to let it dry, which you should do after you've rinsed it, blow it up hard, that way the inside has a chance to dry, it doesn't, it's not sitting against the rest of the inside, and that's the potential of sticking, although well, modern BCs don't do that very often. However, uh, if you blow it up hard and leave it for a few days, certainly a week, definitely a month, it'll be soft when you go back to it. Why is that? Well, there <laughs> are a lot of reasons for that. There are some O-ring seals, there's an O-ring seal right here, it's really not an O-ring seal, in most cases it's really just a piece of foam rubber that's been squeezed not, not the best seal in the world. There's a little rubber flapper valve up here with an O-ring on it. And there's an oil inflator down here that lets air in and out. And there's just an O-ring in there. And, and, and these O-rings are, are not under much pressure. The pressure inside of a BC is less than one PSI. So there's not much pressure to make a seal. It's not like a tank O-ring. For 3,000 PSI, force the O-ring into the seal. And it's sealed. It's good. We're going to do a, a video on O-rings. You watch for it on O-rings and you'll get an idea how they work. Well, these O-rings aren't like that. These are very soft seals. Plus, it is material. It's material. And, 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 and you know, it's kind of like you buy a jacket that's supposed to be waterproof because you spend a lot of time on the rain. Take a close look at the information. I'll bet you, in most cases, it'll say water-resistant. <laughs> but anyway, the other thing is that BCs have what's called a power inflator, this mechanical thing with a metal button and a stainless steel shaft with O-rings on it and seats and a nipple for the hose to go on. This is, this is actually mechanical, but again, even though it has O-rings on it, there's no pressure. Those O-rings are not sealed tightly, and you'll understand that better when you see our O-ring uh, uh, um, video. Point is, after all that is that BCs, generally speaking, will leak very, very slightly over a period of time. We say leaks aren't good in a BC. Hold on a minute. I said over a period of time. We're talking days or weeks. So unless you're on a very, very long dive with a very, very big tank, <laughs> this BC is going to be just fine. We're diving as perfect as the way it's supposed to be. You blow it up hard, whatever. You use it through the dive and it works perfectly. Air in, air out, buoyancy, ba 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 do. It's perfect for diving. It's exactly the way it's supposed to be. But if you do blow it up really hard and let it sit, it'll go soft. I'm going to prove it to you. Okay, we're going to cut this video, uh, and I'm going to blow this up hard. You have to trust me. I'm very trustworthy. Right, Kev? True. <laughs> anyway, we're going to blow this up very, very hard, and this is a good BC. It's uh, not new, which is probably good for this uh, video, but it's a good quality BC, a rental BC. In fact, we're going to blow it up hard, then we're going to leave it, and we're going to come back in about two hours' time and just see if there's a difference. Let's blow it up hard first. Okay, you can see it. See that, Kevin? Yeah. See that? That's hard. Okay, all right. What time you got, Kev? 1.30. Okay, we're going to come back. Let's wait till about 3 o'clock. 3 to 3.30, a couple hours from now. We're going to come back and see if this has changed. 
And I think you're. I think we'll find. I think so. Anyway, I think we'll find uh, that this BC has has deflated very slightly, a little bit of variously doubt, and then we'll see if that's the case. Now, if we left it for several days, a couple of weeks, or a month in your basement, definitely to be a shot. Let's see what happens. We'll be back shortly. What is it now? Four o'clock almost. So oh, it's been two and a half hours actually. Uh, four o'clock with thirty. Yeah, two and a half hours. And here's the BC. Back on the bed, right where it was. It looks almost the same, doesn't it? <laughs> it is not the same. It's still got lots of air in it, but there's no way. This has softened up a great deal from what it was before. And that's just in two and a half hours. So there you go. A very simple, simple demonstration. And I'm thinking, I'm sorry, I'm awfully sorry, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, viewer who sent me that message, I don't know your name, I forgot your name, but I think you'll find if you blow your BC up, as I've done, and the rest of you as well, blow it up as hard as you can, Put it out of the way somewhere in the basement or something and 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 um, forget about it. <laughs> the next time you go back and check on it, you'll find that your BC has softened up. It's just the nature of the beast. 90% of the BCs out there are like that. So so don't blame your your uh, your dive store. They they probably did a perfect service on it. It doesn't hurt to mention it. Go to them and, and tell them what's happened and then uh, and see what their uh, their story is. I think you'll find it's the same as mine anyway. Or something just to put your mind at ease. Alec Pierce. Scuba Tech Tips. Talk to you soon.